Hello, this is Dana and welcome to my channel, The Orchid Hut. This is a one thing you need to know video about staking a Phalaenopsis bloom spike. And as you can see on this orchid right here, I have a bloom spike already in progress. What I have been doing up until this point is orienting this plant towards the light in a way that trains the bloom spike to grow in the direction that I want it to. So this bloom spike is always going to grow towards the light. And if you think about how you want this bloom spike to be presented when it's in full bloom, that will help you determine um, how to orient your plant so that the spike is trained in the direction that you want it to go. And then when it comes time to place a stake, you'll be able to put the stake in a way that supports the bloom spike in the best way. So on this particular plant, you can see that I'm training the bloom spike to grow this direction for now because I'm going to be placing the stake right here. And then as this bloom spike gets taller, I will be able to connect it to the stake. And ultimately, what I want to have happen is have this bloom spike grow in the same plane as the leaves over to this side. Okay, now I already know that this Phalaenopsis produces a very, very large and heavy bloom spike. So when I'm choosing a stake to use, I want to choose the longest, most heavy duty stake that I have. So while it might seem that something uh, thinner and shorter will work, I find it best to just go with something more substantial and taller from the beginning because especially if you know that the spike is going to be tall and heavy. Now the other thing to know about staking a bloom spike is that it doesn't really need to be done at all. I have oftentimes just let bloom spikes grow cascading over the edge of the pot and that's perfectly fine if you have the space to accommodate that in your growing area. For me, because my growing space has gotten crowded, I need the spike to grow up and over so that it doesn't take up any more space around the bottom of the pot. So it's really personal preference whether you want to stake your bloom spike at all. However, I would recommend that once the bloom spike gets to be about this size, that you keep the plant oriented towards the light in the same way so that when the blooms open they look like the traditional Phalaenopsis blooms and they are all sort of aligned with each other with the same uh, orientation. Okay? Alright, so let's go ahead and place this and what I want to do is get it on this side of the axis because here's the spike and I'm gonna try you know at least at the surface of the media I'm gonna try to avoid stabbing a root now once you know you go down inside the pot you're not certain if you're stabbing a root or not but you can at least get it started so that it avoids visible roots and then just twist and push it does help if the uh, stake has a bit of a point on the end. You want to get it as straight as possible and you want to try to get it to the bottom of the pot. Okay, so that stake is completely in. It's at the bottom of the pot. I can feel the resistance to the plastic at the bottom. It's very sturdy right now. And as this bloom spike continues to grow, I will be able to clip it to this stake and train it to arch over um, in this direction of the plant. Okay, and so that's one thing you need to know about staking or not staking a Phalaenopsis bloom spike. Thanks so much for watching and talk to you next time.